So fam, okay, this is a really important discussion. <laughs> we're not gonna be able to get to the whole thing because we actually gotta leave soon, but like we're on this amazing space right here cultivated by this brother Shiva. Rainbow. Just like an example Rainbow. of what we're all calling in, which is basically acres of it. permaculture. He's been doing it. He's been living it. Living it. <laughs> and as the so world anchor. changes drastically now, we gotta look to like where where is it safe for us to go and like essentially create a new like way of a village that's really like sustainable and regenerative for the hearts of the, of the people that are there and then also for the land like where there's going to be geopolitical safety as like things fall further into lockdown etc and i mean north carolina keeps coming up mm. mm -hmm. <laughs> follow the water follow the water good soil yeah yeah, Munai. High mountains. Yeah, what are your thoughts on this? Like, where are the nodes? High where do you altitude, see them? Where's the vision? Like, low sea level places. Uh huh. Definitely out of the bigger cities. I feel like the cities have like so much um, static, and the EMF stuff is just getting stronger. Mm. And I feel like it's pulsing people and having people doubt themselves and watching this like another wave of energy moving through people that I love and mm. adore so much that I feel are some of the most like incredible seers and just hearing and, and living in really big city areas and, and I actually had a conversation with one of them last night and I was just like, like wow okay this energy of like okay I'm gonna go here for a second yeah go here <laughs> and go I don't here. I don't I don't wanna uh, I don't wanna discredit anybody's choice I'm like pro choice I'm not in any way gonna like knock on anybody that chooses to have a vaccination or whatever truth, but when truth. somebody is is being coerced or being um pressured and like oh i'm i just want to get to my family i just want to go to this ceremony over here and they're asking for it now so it's like whatever i can transmute it but like your your true core part of your being was like no mm. I didn't want to mm -hmm. and then you're you're doing it anyways <clears throat> I'm watching people like discredit themselves and not listen to that inner guidance system and just their their truth and I feel like it, it is this like other mm. wave of energy that's being pulsed through these EMFs and through the static of these these things that we have to be very like intentional with yeah. these these devices that we're looking into these little things yeah. hi hi. <laughs> hi there but then again it this is, is a, a it's person it's an extension of us yeah. it's an extension of your arm right now it's an extension of consciousness right mm. here and you could either go this way with it or you could go this way with right, it right it's it's how you interweave with it and right, right. yeah so i guess hmm. Really well, and saying. through that, it's it's the it's the frequencies we're bathing <clears throat> in. They may be like from a cymatic acoustics perspective, biologically, really harmful to our actual biology. Mm. That's something that we probably should study more, mm. um, since we're really upping the ante on frequency being uh, all around us in these cities. But furthermore, like to just look at it plainly, you know, anyone that's watched The Social Dilemma or The Great Hack mm. on Netflix and all the other documentaries that exist know that social programming is a really powerful tool being, uh, you know, wielded by um, governments, uh, which are, you know, mostly influenced by the corporate machine. We know that. Mm. We know lobbies exist. We know those things. So, yeah, when that's taking away the sovereignty of people and, yeah, I'm with you, respect of sovereignty that's what it comes down to not to make this like mm -hmm. pro or anti any one thing just are you sovereign do you get to choose the what you put in your body or don't put in your body do you get to choose you know is mm. this truly uh mm. you know, a place that that upholds freedom like the constitution says it does well, mm. people are making choices too based off of like untruths yeah. that they're being presented as the truth mm. Mm. that's not like sovereignty anymore because mm. like it's basically your sovereignty was stolen mm. when you had to participate in a lie mm. and you thought that was the truth right and so that therefore it gets into a really like gray area of like can you actually be sovereign if what you think is true is false mm. because now all of a sudden it's like <laughs> your sovereignty was basically stolen by the person who gave you the falsehood dressed up as a truth right and now it's like 
they actually own the sovereignty because they know what the truth is. So that's that's where the dilemma gets really big, I think. It does. Like, it does. You have to... <clears throat> yeah. You need to know it's true to be sovereign. Right, and what's true <laughs> is not... There's just something called misinformation and real information, <laughs> uh, which is largely dictated by centralized authorities. And so what, you know, this whole world of fact-checking, what is true or false... I think we've always known, like philosophers knew that truth was, you know, there's some subjectivity to that. You should always look at like who's financing what information and what funnel it's, it's arriving to you uh, with, you know, uh, media, anyone who's taken like communications 101, remember like agenda setting. What do you talk about? What do you not talk about? That influences what people um, see as what is true or false. The human mind and the human civilization is one of the biggest uh, it's all built on myths. Even laws are myths that are widely accepted. So, mm. yeah, I hear you. Like, whatever mm. is true to people, as long as you're not hurting anybody, this is a place that was broke off from England mm. so that people could decide what truth was for themselves. Well, that's the whole key, right? <clears throat> Which is why I think this path of return to Earth, return to nature, and there's this other path simultaneously, like AI, and it's like gonna eat itself, or we're gonna go and regenerate. Like, well, look at this. Just take a little like. I know. You know what I mean? Yeah, look around us here. This is like this is actually regenerative. This is six acres of Living. hundreds of avocado trees. A pig. Out, pig <laughs> chickens, pig. goats, All the um, animals oranges. Living in harmony with the earth, but it's EI, emotional intelligence. And I think when we turn more of that mm. on. Mm. We can create the safety within ourselves. <clears throat> Pardon me. Yeah, no, you're good. <coughs> <coughs> wow. Get out. Yeah, purge, oh purge that vibe. Yeah, I have to purge. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay. Pardon me. I'm coming back. Come back. <laughs> okay. <laughs> when you create that safety within yourself, that ultimate trust. Mm. And that's coming from like here, this, uh -huh. this, 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 like really coming back and touching the earth and remembering, you know, getting to know the nature, the plants around you, getting to feel comfortable mm. in the soil, getting to know mm -hmm. the waters, praying with your waters, listening to the oh, waters, so to listening hear. to the waters around you, listening yeah, to the waters like in the you. And you create that symbiotic relationship that's in coherence and in harmony, you're ultimately going to trust everything that you do. You're ultimately going to feel good about, wow, I'm relaxed in this. This is what I choose. And I'm a full yes here. And there isn't this, like, you know, doubt and insecurity and, and fear that takes over. And I think the more you know, the more fear anyone has, it's like, just here, come hug a tree. Literally. I know that sounds so cliche, but just let's get your bare hands in the soil. Let's get your feet here. Let me plant. Let me touch your feet right here. Let me help you just ground, you know, let's get your naked body in the river. Let's really feel yourself here. I think so many people are just disconnected from this. Um, you know, ultimately, that's what we want to create and come together with is just places for people to come and like remember themselves and remember their true nature again. And yeah, yeah. So all like, over. Let's go. Let's, <laughs> let's come together and remember. Like, where can we go in this? Like, it's going to have to happen in the United States. It's going to have to, like, there's some states. I mean, real talk. Like, I'm from Seattle, Washington, and it's getting, the, the energy is not conducive to gathering people, mm -hmm. these things. It's really like, you know, there's different places that are taking different paths in, in, in collective belief. Mm -hmm. Arizona, it, people are gathering, people are dancing on the rocks, people are in that energy, energy of connection. But as you said, the land, can it support food sovereignty? Can it support true sovereignty when the you know there's tons of water is a massive aquifer but is the soil rich enough to support it yeah, and people are doing the good work there check out shams check out sedona greenhouse project check out everything that's happening there with the manifestation gatherings this week um so there's a lot happening there energetically 
but then we had, you know, it'd be amazing if we had these like remembrance, these places, these nodes, all scattered like, you know, points of light across the United States into Mexico, into South America. And I think it's happening. I know we gotta go. Shoshana's nodding at me, it's time. But um, anyway, I felt like this is the beginning of a conversation that I hope a lot of people are having. Um, and I think we need to come together and not just dance together at music festivals like we used to. We need to come together with a lot of collective intention to actually, um, you know, make these safe places where this remembrance is being held as a frequency consistently. Um, maybe one gas tank away from each the next, like all the way across the U.S. So there's these like sovereign places. Um, and seeds being planted. Seeds being planted. So leave you with that seed you're probably already thinking about it because Gaia's doing this all through us whether we <laughs> yeah, just, whoosh, yeah anyway thanks for sharing thanks for this right yeah this beautiful to land to the native indigenous that were here yeah <sighs> and their yeah. prayers that we heard and showed mm -hmm. up on yeah, yeah thank you yeah, thanks okay. for being here mm -hmm. yeah, thank for you for being here time. I like to say like freeing the moment, like emanating the moment. Yeah, like if this is not a captured moment, we put, know, we're here feet. for it, right? It's not inside a cage. Anyway, <laughs> thank you for we we've uncaged this moment to you. We've uncaged it. Choose it to do great. with it what you know you wish, and and hopefully it, it inspires more conversation. Mm. Blessing, soul fam. Elevate. Yeah.